wondered if I was going to fucking show up. Oh, he sounded as fuck. He had paramedics going, oh, fuck. God damn it. <laughs> Get him alive. God damn it. The place is full. Jesus Christ. Oh, man. I'm doing okay, man, but I shouldn't have came into New York last night with twins. Oh, fuck. <laughs> bad move, bad move. Oh, you think I'm kidding? Where are you, babies? Come here, come here, show yourselves. Check these fucking babes out, dudes. Come to me, babies, come to me. Half the guys are laughing, the other half of the guys are going, you motherfucker, son of a bitch. Oh, why don't you just rub it in their face, can I shut up? Why don't you just have them strip and dance for us, you fucking bastard? Hey, it sounds like a lot of fun, but believe me, folks, it can be real draining. Oh. It's like a little kid who likes a certain kind of dessert until so he just had it jammed down his fucking throat. But I'm not complaining, because it wouldn't be Christian. <laughs> All right, <so. laughs> oh, man. I'll be all right to say, say, did Carl go this too? Did Carl go through this too in the first part of his act? Yeah, I fucked him up good, man. We messed his fucking shit up. <laughs> Come on a tour with me. Uh, you don't mind drinking with the headliner. <laughs> We get it as Bailey's Irish Cream, man. It doesn't look harmful at all. It's like chocolate milk for adults. What can happen, you know? I don't know. You know, <laughs> finally, finally the hotel help goes, I'm, I'm sorry we're out of that, you fucking lusses. We had seven bottles when you showed up. I got my road manager, my manager. I got everybody drinking this shit now. He's flashing. He thought of the ex-wife. <laughs> oh, oh, oh! I'm back. I'm back, man. Just a second. Just a second. <laughs> well, here's to uh, here's to day one. All right, so <laughs> this has been like the 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 hundred sixtieth day one in a row. These fucking detox centers. I I called one up for a friend about a month and a half ago. A friend. Uh, give me that look. Yeah, sure, it was a friend. It was for you, you fucking loser. <laughs> Called it up. Actually, it's for my little brother because he, he tried to hang out with me for a week. And uh, I was like, oh, God, I can't hold a job. <laughs> uh, so I called a place up. I called the Beverly Ford uh, Center out in Palm Springs. <laughs> Betty, whatever the fuck. Ooh. For 10 bucks, she's Beverly, all right? Who gives a fuck? Couple drinks, ten dollar bill. She's Lucy. She's everyone. She does impressions, whatever you fucking want. She'll dance. <laughs> Funny. She's like waking up for an execution. Thanks, great. <laughs> I called him up. I said, "What's your program? What's how much does it cost?" He go, "Well, it's sixty-three hundred dollars." for 21 days, for three weeks. I went, what? I said, no, it's $6,300 for 21 days. I said, lady, if you can get your hands on six grand, you're still in control. <laughs> I guess the first test of the clinic, if you can put your hands on that kind of money, you're not out of control yet. It's not a real problem. Not, not if you can get a hold of six grand, folks. You can get a hold of six grand. You're still ready to party for a while, you know? <laughs> Day one isn't for a couple weeks off, you know? Oh, uh, $6,300. Well, thank you, buddies. Thanks for helping. This wouldn't be a beneficiary of uh, the uh, BTL club, would it, huh? 
Jim Baker. Did this guy eat life's big fucking dick sandwich, huh? <laughs> oh, man. Just amazing to sit back and watch these guys just slip on the old banana be a whoop! Oh, he scum bucket. I don't know. You know, if I was, uh, you know, there, there's, ch there's charges of wife swapping, there's charges of homosexuality. Have you seen this fucking woman? If I was married to her, I'd suck a dick. I'll go, I'm sorry, honey, but I'd, I'd rather suck a dick than look at your face. Oh, it's the truth. I think the Lord approved it. I think God said, you know, I normally don't say okay to this kind of thing, but <laughs> fuck on this bitch. I made her, man. I'm ashamed. I'm embarrassed, too. I take part of the blame. I created her face. Uh, she has got to be one of the ugliest fucking women. Did you see that picture of her on Newsweek, on the cover of Newsweek? Is that an ugly fucking rubber face? I went, no, this is a Tammy mask, man. This can't be the real fucking mask. <laughs> Ugly. They took $250,000 worth of uh, missionary funds. <laughs> yeah, that's a good trick. These fucking dicks. You turn on the television. Now everybody's got an emergency month. Emergency month, we need $10 million, God damn, I mean, uh, I mean uh, we need $10 million, you've got to help. I'm watching this shit, I thought, hey, I thought that was their fucking job, man. I thought I was the one supposed to be in need, right? I thought the people were supposed to be able to turn in, and these people are supposed to be going, for you out there right now, that where you're having problems, you're having troubles. Have you seen old Roberts? Have you seen this slime snake fuck? Have you seen his, he's like, now, uh, one eye that just, you know, it's like, what'd you do before the ministry or work in the circus? <laughs> it's like, oh, man, this guy leaves a trail when he walks. I go, fucking, just ooze. What a nice God. Yeah, God's a fucking terrorist now. Yeah, all right. Whatever you say, Oral. Yeah, God told me I was praying. He said, shut up! I'm saying your fucking prayers! I want eight million bucks or you're a dead man. You understand that, you fuck? Oh, where are you going to hide? Where are you going to hide? That makes you want to go to church, doesn't it, huh? Well, Oral, I'm glad you and God are on such fucking tight terms. He's extorting money from your fucking ministry. What a... The old trick. And then Pat Robertson, God told him to run for president of the fucking United States. These guys aren't too high, are they? You know, 10, 15 years ago, you, you know, you should be like one person heard from God. You know, now you got 25 fucking guys with a satellite dish. <laughs> they hear from him every fucking day. Oh yeah, well I just talked to him. <laughs> Pat Robertson, yeah, God told me to run for the president of the United States. Yeah, this is the only one I kind of believe. I think Dick Clark and that big man got involved. He said, you know, we got with God to play a practical joke on Pat Robertson. <laughs> we actually got God to tell Pat to run for, for the president of the United States. <laughs> now, Pat doesn't know he's been set up. He doesn't know he's going to look like a complete horse's ass in the political arena. We haven't told him. We're here on election night to watch Pat's face when those electoral votes come in that he didn't know about. Hey, what's this part of it about? <laughs> oh, man, he's fucking wacko. Fuck. Jimmy Swaggart, the Hitler of gospel television. <laughs> I don't know, friend, but I'm telling you right now, there's only one way to frugal Nick Lyston to climb me. I mean, I mean, <coughs> I, mean, I, mean the fear, I mean, I mean, I mean, Jesus. Jesus told me just the other day. I'm like, man. <laughs> oh, man. Ah, uh, he's a scary-looking alligator. What? Uh, looks like a fucking lizard, man. These guys' faces are so tough, you know? Ah, damn. I've read the Bible. You know, Jesus wasn't like that. 
This guy didn't have a fucking horse, and these guys have satellite dishes, air-conditioned dog houses. <laughs> I, gee, I never thought Jesus was really coming back, but I think he might, just to make uh, you know Jim and Tammy into a fucking pair of house slippers. <laughs> he's going to put his foot up their ass so fucking far. He's going, ah, yeah, here's my new house slippers, Jim and Tammy. Ah, ah. I read the Bible. It's Sunday. We can talk about it. I read the Bible. Yeah, I read it. Yeah, no, I did. I read the Bible, and I was reading about Jesus. It's, you know, he had a lot of pressure on his life, like we all do. But he had seven different. Things. First of all, he's the Son of God. That's eh, fun to walk around with when you're about five. <laughs> Trying to lead a normal fucking life, with Joseph following you everywhere, going. Hey, you better be the son of God, I'll tell you that, Junior. <laughs> I'm buying an awful lot of shit here. <laughs> Honey, he doesn't know he had, he's five years old. How come he hasn't done something yet? <laughs> Looks like a fucking normal kid to me. <laughs> he's just this guy just following you around, waiting for that miracle. You sure it was God, right, Honey? Because it's my job. Uh, poor Jesus. He grows up. He can't heal. He can't do miracles. People start taking advantage of him like he's fixing parking tickets. You know. 5,000 people show up with no food. That's kind of fucking rude, don't you think? They didn't need a healing. They didn't need a fucking miracle. They weren't in wheelchairs. They didn't pack a sandwich for the day. At the house, the woman's going, honey, should we take some food? No, 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 Je Jesus will get it. Jesus. He, he likes to show off. Oh, you sick, you lame, you blind. I'll be right with you. I have to be Jesus, the miracle caterer. There's always one guy that will show up out of a crowd and go, you know, Jesus, I don't, I don't want to cause a lot of trouble, but I need to show up. So I'm not from around here, man. That raw fish thing, you know what I mean? You get God to make me like a grilled cheese. You know, he's God, right? So, it's a grilled cheese will do. Nothing fancy. He doesn't have to go out of his way. Oh. Yeah, tough, tough life. Disciples had a tough life. They had to fucking follow this guy. They could never call in sick. They never get a fucking day off. They could never go, no, no, I know Jesus. I'll talk to him. <coughs> <coughs> Hello, Jesus. <coughs> yeah, listen, uh, yeah, we are, uh, me and the disciples here, we went fishing last night, forgot our sweaters. And, <coughs> yeah, we've caught a cold or something here. We're not going to be able to walk to Jerusalem with you today and uh, preach and have rocks thrown at us. So, uh, <coughs> What? We're healed. <laughs> what do you mean we're healed? Don't you have to be here? You don't have to be here. You can just send the word and we're healed. No, I didn't know that. Okay, we'll get up. Uh, we'll see you about 10 minutes. All right. Come on, guys. Get up. We're healed. Great. Oh. You don't know if it's true or not, but they make nice little stories, don't they? You know? Before I saw these movies where he's up on the cross. 30 or 40 Christians standing around going, <laughs> <laughs> it's a shame that he has to die. <laughs> Jesus is going, well, maybe what happens if he has a ladder and a pair of tires? <laughs> maybe we can change the book a little bit. <laughs> a ladder and a pair of tires. That's all. Oh, man. Well, I know one thing, folks. I know he wasn't married. He would have snapped. He wouldn't have been able to fucking take it. He would have been drinking heavy, folks. 
Jesus, you can't preach. Oh, shut up. I can fucking preach. I got a sermon today. It's on bitches. You know, but fortunately, he didn't go through that. Uh, but I did. I love women. What are you going to do, especially with all these <laughs> new facts about AIDS? How can he not love women, folks? Huh? They say heterosexuals can die of it, too. Name one. Thank you very much. And, uh... <laughs> That's one of those jokes people go, ah! <laughs> Honey, I can't think of anybody. He's, maybe he's on to something here. Oh... Uh, it's a scary little disease. So what did I do? I fucking moved to Hollywood. <laughs> Smart move, Sam. I'll tell you one thing. It sure teaches you how to use the public restroom. Use your foot for everything. <laughs> to open the door. <laughs> flush the toilet. <laughs> use the sink. <laughs> you don't touch nothing, man. <laughs> you don't touch the fucking thing. Oh. And why should you get up next morning and go, oh. It's scary, man. I can't understand it. I try to follow a little bit. I don't know much about science, but I know they're confused. They don't have a fucking clue. You know, Rock Hudson's dead, and Richard Simmons doesn't have a fucking coal. <laughs> now, when you have clues like that, folks, what are you going to do? These scientists are drinking early. They're getting out of bed going, oh, God damn, this is like the Black Plague. Richard Simmons, is he a fucking miracle? This guy should weigh 45 pounds right now, folks. I didn't mean to lose this much weight, dog. <laughs> oh. Charles Nelson Riley, how the fuck is this guy walking around, huh? You know this guy isn't fucking picky. No way is this guy picky. He's like, oh, I love Hollywood. I love Hollywood. Ah -ha -ha. He'll suck the valley. He'll suck midgets off. He don't give a fuck. He's got to have a dick in his mouth, mister, don't mess with him! <laughs> have the crowd laugh, the other half's going, what, what kind of jokes are these? There's the piano there, why doesn't he try and sing or do something creative, artistic? Oh. <laughs> yeah, some wild stuff, it's some, definitely some wild stuff. I don't understand it, you know. I, uh, you know, I see something like Jim Baker, especially homosexual. You know. I mean, the whole time this guy was sitting there on the desk with his wife, with his crying preacher buddies hanging out with him, <laughs> talking about it's emergency month. Yeah, it's emergency month at my fucking house too. <laughs> sitting on seven million over here. We got an emergency month at my house. But a relationship, you know? How do you wake up with a guy and share the fucking razor? You know, here, honey, here. I think you may have to change the blade. I'm not sure. How to become a guy's bitch and clean the fucking house for him, you know? It's a man's question, ladies. It's a man's question. Hey, so. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, you know what I mean? Can you imagine being a guy's fucking bitch, you know? <laughs> Oh, man, ouch. Oh, Jesus. Richard Simmons, I know how. I can do it. I clean a mean bathroom, mister. This guy's going, look, I lost all my weight. You know? Yeah, I guess you would lose weight if you're gay. Then who the fuck wants you to eat after they've had a dick in their mouth all day? Oh, <laughs> More pizza? I bought some banana pudding! It's Richard Simmons, big dick. Look, I lost my way. Yeah, we know you did it. We know your favorite salad dressing. <laughs> the old Richard Simmons' favorite salad dressing joke. Yeah, I don't understand. I, just, I love women. What else are you going to do, man? I fucking love women. Uh, which one? <laughs> we have a menu now you can look at. <laughs> yeah, I've got two ex-wives, but no kids. 
No alimony. No support payments. No, not even any happy, friendly little fucking loans. <laughs> nothing. Nothing. That's great not having kids, man, because I, I would have got these kind of calls, man. Be, Hello, Daddy. Yeah, listen, Mommy said you're fucking asshole. We ain't you, son of a bitch. We have an Arkansas the trailer, you got damn me. And you don't see the money, you don't love us, not ain't you. I wish I wasn't your son. I wish I'd never come out of your dick, you son of a bitch, you bitch. Now, Merry Christmas to you, too, Timmy. <laughs> Thanks for calling Daddy during the holiday season, okay? I can't hear you for the pool. What? Huh? There's people in the pool here. I couldn't hear you. Huh? <laughs> yeah. Oh. No kids. No, no. No payments. Oh, I best marry twice. I'll do it again. I'm stupid. I'll buy it again. What else are you going to do? You can't get hard and bitter. And <laughs> Just fuck lesbians the rest of your life. You can't do it. <laughs> God damn it. I tried. You can't do it. Oh, I came out of that second marriage, and I said, fuck it, man. I'm never going to respect women again. I'm going to go through them like shake and bake bags. <laughs> and I was wrong, ladies. I was wrong. And no, but you know, because if you feel that way, you feel like a dumbass for fucking caring, for using, you know, being used and shit, you know? Don't you feel like that way? You guys, when they break up, you feel like, God damn it, why didn't I use her first? Shit. Oh man, it rips your heart out. So after two of those kind of fun little little things, I got involved with this other girl. It was a lot of a lot of fun. Uh, she was a uh, she was a lesbian when we met, and uh, she really was. She was really into women, and she saw my show at the comedy store out in Los Angeles one night. And she waits for me. She goes, "Hey, I uh, your, your act's really interesting. It was very intellectual. Of course, you know, it was like a Natasha Kinski with big tits. You know, it was like that kind of look. You know." And uh, she goes, I really, you, you really hate women, don't you? Like, Where did you fucking pick that up? <laughs> I love women. I hate that I fucking love them so much, you know? All right, I hate two. Is it all right to hate fucking two of them, huh? <laughs> well, women are this one. Women are this great women. There's great women. There's good women. There's probably many sweet, wonderful women here tonight. No, yeah, they're not all bitches. They're not all whores. There are. There's some women that understand what a relationship means, what a commitment represents. They're true to you in love. They don't fuck around on you and cheat on you and stuff. And there's also women that, uh, you know, will fuck a dog at a bachelor's party for 10 bucks. Okay? They're out there, too. And they have pussies, too. Yes, they do. And see, for me, it's like the fucking dating game. I can't tell the difference. I can't fucking tell the Let's see if Sam can find out the one who plays with Lassie and the one who does community service work. I can't tell, Jim. I can't fucking tell. They, uh, they just look like women to me. I can't tell the one that, uh, you know. <laughs> yeah. Believe me, folks, look at my divorce record. I can't tell! I don't know the difference! Oh, man, when you're in love, you buy it all, don't you? Man, I get married again. I want a fucking guy there doing rim shots during the vows. Oh, and bring a drum set in, an old nightclub drummer. Do the fucking vows like an old vaudeville routine, yeah? <laughs> do you take her sickness and health? I sure do. <laughs> <laughs> Till death do you part, but what do you say at this stage till I start getting sick? <laughs> death to you part. Maybe you should break up while you, you know, when it starts to get nauseous. You know, why do you have to fucking die, coach? <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. What else are you going to do, though, man? You can't. It all comes back to women. They've got the pussy. They know it. <laughs> they know. Yeah, go ahead, huh? Because I know you, I got this and you can't have it. <laughs> They, it all comes back to them. They know it. It's like gravity, man. It's like throwing a fucking apple. It all comes back to that. Oh, this is great. We <laughs> feel like uh, Jackie Gleason around the bar, you know? Great to have something to lean on, folks. Believe me. Oh. Yeah, I love women. I should get the right kind of woman, I guess. It's hard, man. Out in Hollywood, you know, it's not where you find a woman who wants a fucking slow, easy life, you know? Oh, I came to Hollywood because I'm on a quiet life. Yeah, sure. 
there are some bitches out there. Oh, fuck. There's this place called the Rainbow Bar and Grill. Well, I'm not, yeah, I'm, I'm just, I just got here, okay? Oh, no! Are the girls nice here in Jersey? They are. Even if it's self-acclaimed. Yes, we are. Uh, actually, Carl's uh, Carl's wife's from New Jersey. She's from Jackson. Is that it, Jackson? Yeah. She's really nice. She's very sweet. So, hey, that's my best friend's wife. Hey, so, yeah, like it's not every man's fantasy. Twins. His best friend's wife, Sam, said them all. Yeah. <laughs> what a nasty guy, Sam. Try to pay a compliment to your... You fucking best friend's wife. Oh, he fucked her. Look at him. He can tell the way he talks about her. He had her. Yeah, she was doing tricks for him. He made the guy watch. He made the fucking guy watch. Oh, he's the beast. <laughs> oh, man, folks. Folks, I'm not that evil, all right? Come on. God damn. Yeah, I took her. We broke into a church. We fucked on the altar at 3 in the morning. <laughs> ah, what do you folks imagine? What do you folks imagine, man? Hey. Oh, really? Is there a gas leak or have I touched somebody's, like, erogenous zone? <laughs> yeah, the church idea sounded pretty nasty, didn't it, huh? Women are going, how come you never did that with me? That sounds pretty wild. Oh, Hollywood, man, these fucking girls. There's a place called Rainbow Bar and Grill. And it's, it's like one of the legendary old bars in, uh, in Sunset. And after midnight, these... The spandex troops show up. They show up with <laughs> spandex and moose. They're about 18, 19 years old. And I thought it was sexual energy. These girls are like, <laughs> I went, whoa. You know, I didn't know they were like two hours away from a complete mental collapse. A fucking nervous breakdown. No home, no place to go, no way to support themselves. And they're just looking for a man they can blame their whole miserable life on. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And you go up and you say hi. It's like stepping in a fucking bear drive. Hi, how are you? <laughs> it's that kind of relationship. Can't take him to your house, man, because, uh, oh, it sounds like a good idea at first. You wake up the next morning and go, well, where can I take you? Nowhere. But I don't have a place to live, don't I? Pretty nice house huh? she got here. Oh, great. <laughs> you look in her purse, there's some Fred Flintstone vitamins, a syringe, and some uh, straw candy, you know? Yeah, Sam, you're meeting the right girls. <laughs> so, well, I heard there's one thing about Jersey women. I didn't know if it was true. They said that Jersey women are sweet. They're faithful. They, 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 uh, <laughs> what? <laughs> Sound like the... It's like the gay people the other day the president, well, the president's doing everything he can. Oh, blow it out your ass! <laughs> Fuck you! His son's got it! His son's got it! <laughs> you know, they were vicious, man. No, I heard, I heard Jersey women are like that. They're real sweet. You can trust them and you can actually have a relationship with them. They're like Illinois women, you know? Uh, look at you! God, you scared me! Uh, oh, that's not a kiss. <laughs> that's, a, that's great. Turns around, there's a skull and a fucking crossbones on the back. You're making me look good up here with this image, I'm telling you. Oh, they said his life would be tough. They said, Sam, are you sure this is what you want to do? It's hard to be with one and not think about the other. That's the problem with <laughs> That's the problem with twins. Uh, oh, they're very sweet girls who go, you know, we, we never even joked about doing something like that, but we, we might do it with you. <laughs> Get in. All right, so. <laughs> they're not from Jersey, dear. No. no, I think they're from Kansas originally, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> God, I'm lucky I can walk, folks. Jerry, Jerry Lewis wants to see a miracle. Here it is. Here's a miracle, Jerry. Sam's walking. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, I was in the middle of it. I was going, hey, thank you. What am I looking up for? Hey, thanks, pal. Whoever set this up. Ben. 
Yeah, my own women scare me, man. Those Illinois women, god damn. <laughs> These girls, they just wait to get married so they can put a little more on that plate. You know what I mean? Well, I'm married now. I guess I'll get that fucking truck driver size meal. They do, man. They're sweet women. They're wonderful, but they put on about six or seven pounds a year. Nothing you notice right off. It's true. Nothing you notice right off. They just kind of sneak into it. <laughs> and all of a sudden, after about seven or eight years, you realize you married their mom. Oh! Oh! God damn it! You look just like her! You didn't tell me you wanted to look like this! Oh, you fucking bitch, bitch! Oh, oh! It's true, they get that big mom steer ass. It's like, ah, ah. <laughs> A lot of guys going, Sam, Sam, I'd like to laugh at that, but my wife is sitting right next to me. She just happens to have a big steer ass. And if I want a piece of that ass later on back in the house, I've got to sit here and not laugh at that joke, mister. <laughs> Oh, uh, women will get you, man. Women will make you fucking pay. They'll make you fucking welcome death, folks. <laughs> You'll be wearing a big sign. I welcome death. Where are you, you fuck? Oh, yeah, man. They can be. You know, a lot of you have already laughed too much now. Oh, yeah. Some of you guys are in serious fucking trouble with some of these jokes. You're not going to see the pussy for a year. You're going to go home, you're going to forget about the show, you had a good time, you got a good buzz going, you know. You're uh, putting on a clone, you're getting ready to go in there and make that mad dog fucking passion. You're going to go in and use her hair like the bridle of a fucking horse. <laughs> you walk in, she goes, well, well, you thought that, you thought that fat guy was having funny, didn't you, huh? Remember, you was just laughing, man. He's walking around going, Listen, I'm going to go over here and uh, be reading the New Testament, so why don't you go ahead and jack off? Remember how funny he was? <laughs> like, oh, shit. Ah, oh, some of you are in trouble. But they're worth it. What else are you going to do? God damn it. What the fuck else are you going to do? I just don't understand what women say. You know, I don't understand the relationship. I mean, when a woman says, shoot it into my lungs, can you assume that you're going steady? Can you assume that there is some kind of relationship or that you're taking each other on a serious level, you know? How do you go? How do you, how do you hear shit like that and go, yeah, I had a nice time too. Let's call each other. <laughs> oh, man. And I, I'm sorry, folks. I'm not, uh, I'm, not, I'm not as loose as I appear, but I can't get into this fucking rubbers thing, man. I'm sorry. I know it's the big thing. Get condoms. Put it on there. Yeah, why don't you, why don't you put a fucking sock and a floor shine on there? Tight, nice and tight. You don't, mind if I, you don't mind if I put a fucking swim fin and a pair of goggles on my dick here, do you? I just, I don't want to say anything about your personal hygiene, honey. I just, uh, not that I don't trust you. Not that. <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, am I right, guys? Do you hate fucking rubbers, man? Are they the worst? Just know who you're fucking, man. Yeah, I think, I think that fucking, uh, you know, I think the church is the new pickup place was the disco for a while, then it was the uh, fitness centers. I think the new place to find chicks is the fucking church. <laughs> Start cruising these churches in. <laughs> like a chicken hawk. <laughs> the church, the new pickup place for a place. I don't know where these thoughts come from, folks. I'm just grateful for them, you know? It never occurred to me to cruise the church. That's actually a pretty good idea. Yeah, yeah. Huh? Find God and find some women. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> you like me, don't you? Um. Huh? <laughs> do the <laughs> do the one where the girlfriend takes the Hoover and she uh, stops vacuuming the rug. And wh what is this? What? Oh, you're you're gonna be hard to to fight tonight, huh? Huh? That that that. Sounded like yes. All right, let's try it this way. Okay. That's a good thing about lutes, folks. How can they fucking say no when they can't form words, huh? What a good drug. Want to try it like this? I, I was, that's, that was close enough for me. That's not like yes. All right, yeah. I'm teasing you. You're awful sweet. What's your name? Tina. Thank you, Tina. What joke is it? Which one?
Thank you, Tina. Thank you. I, I, as a matter of fact, I'll, I'll do that one, Tina, right now. <laughs> you like that joke, huh, Tina? Uh... Big one was bad. Big one of these bad 50s movies. You ever see those bad 50s movies where the guy's a hypnotist and there's one girl in the crowd? He's like, <laughs> I'm going to walk home, darling. Yeah, sure. Just wait for me out by the bus. I'll do this routine you speak of. <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah, well, that's what, you know, we're working up to that, I guess, kind of, because it's kind of what we're talking about. It's just that I don't know. I don't know Jersey Girls. I, you know, well, not intimately, but I've got some time. I'm here. I showed up, all right? You know, so, uh, this is like, Rascals is one of the fucking fun gigs. It's one of the few things I keep. There's like two places I do this. It's the Comedy Store and Rascals. The rest of them are these, like, mammoth fucking gigs. But this is comedy, you know? You can, like, actually relax, talk. It's a fucking room. It's a comedy room, man. These fuck I was in Washington, D.C. last night with 3,500 people. That's a lot of fun. How are you? I want you to move to the... You live in a desert. It's like, fuck. You know, it was fun, but you know what I mean? It's not like this. This is, like, real fucking stand-up comedy. In other words, Tina, they would have... The police would have got you last night. Security goes, oh, get her. She's got a gun. It's Washington, D.C. <laughs> oh, man. There's just shit like that I don't understand, you know? Like, uh, how can you say shoot it into my lungs and go call me sometime? You know, it's like. <laughs> you are about to have my complete and undivided attention. <laughs> yes. Uh, another thing, I don't, I can't not fucking understand why girls do this. I don't know if it's a joke, if it's a fucking prank, what it is. But guys, have you ever had the women trying to stick their finger in your ass during your orgasm? <laughs> Want to talk about a cruel, vicious thing to do to a special moment? Has this prank happened to you guys? You know what I'm talking about? And they mean well. The women fucking mean well, if you can believe it. You're having a great time. You're making love. You're about to have the orgasm you're going to talk about for the next 10 years. You're going, oh, yeah, this is it. This is it. Hey. Hey. What do you? Get your hand out of my ass. What the fuck is that about? I thought it would make you feel better. You were wrong. I read it in a book. Burn that fucking book! God damn it. <laughs> Oh, man. Yeah, thanks, honey. Thanks, you. Yeah, that's pretty fucking rude, man. Is that what you're talking about? If women would just tell us what they want us to do. Just tell us. What is the fucking mystery about? Give us some information to work with. We'll do it! Will we do it, guys? Yeah. We'll fucking do it! Yeah. If we know what it is! <laughs> Whatever you do, do not listen to this whacked out, hagen elephant gray, wrinkled ass, babbling propaganda fucking bitch, Dr. Ruth! She's probably the one that wrote the book. That said, she probably woke up a day and went, oh, yeah, this will piss him off. <laughs> Women, when the men are approaching orgasm, jam your finger in their ass as hard as you can. It makes them feel better. Yeah, thanks, you fucking Nazi bitch. <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh, doctor, her pussy's older than she is, all right? You want the truth on this fucking bitch? I'll tell all. You couldn't get her wet with a fucking hose. What do you want from me, huh? A fire hose. Oh, guys have tried it. Guys have went, oh, the master line Zamfir of the band flute. <laughs> oh, 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 it's coming apart in my head. It's coming apart, oh God. <laughs> It's mommy pussy! It was like touching a mommy's pussy! Oh, oh, oh 
was like an old cookie, oh God! Uh -huh. <laughs> Guys in the back going, did, did he just say mummy pussy? It was like touching a mummy's pussy. My God, what are we listening to? What kind of man is this? Somebody go, that's the sickest, most disgusting visual joke I've ever heard. Wrong! I can top it. I can make that look like a fucking nursery rhyme. I can make that something you tell your kids before they go to sleep, folks. I, I feel sorry for leper men. I do. Leper men never know when this is going to happen. It's true. They never know when it's going to come on. They can't go dancing. They don't ride the fucking bus, folks. These guys take no chances. They walk very slow. Very calculated steps. They can't make love to women. They can't even joke about it. They don't even think about it. What are they going to do? Be inside some woman going, uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Oh, shit, great. Uh, yeah, excuse me. I, uh, I should have told you I was a leopard before we made love here. I, uh, yeah, I'm, I, that's right. I, I'm sorry. I, I'll, I'll get it. I'll get it. Oh, God. Oh, shit. Oh, God. Hey, wait a second. This isn't mine! Leper whore! There must be four or five leper dicks in there! Oh, oh, oh! Yeah, just when you think you've heard the most sickest, disgusting, vile oh, joke. Oh. <laughs> Oh, uh, the devil. He loves the devil. Great. All right, I got twins with a skull and crossbones on the back. The guy in front going, I love the devil. Don't mind me. I love the devil. <laughs> no, I know. You talk about that one routine? See, what I'm kind of doing, folks, is I'm just kind of like, uh, I did this HBO thing, and I put out most of it. <laughs> oh, yeah, it was great. It was great, but I did most of every, I did like every fucking joke I know in the world. So I'm kind of out to develop a new shit, come up with some new stuff. Here we go, that's all right, but we like the other stuff better! You don't mind we bring up the other jokes at work, do ya, huh? Oh, man. Please. What door to hell? Well, look at this is like, this is a comic's dream. <laughs> do the one about the traveling salesman! Did you ever hear that? Did you ever hear the traveling salesman? This is a great one. This is one of my favorite jokes. Traveling sales. This is one of my favorite jokes. You're going to miss a classic. You can actually tell this one at work. As opposed to that one goes, hey, he sticks his hand. He goes, hey, wait, this isn't mine. There's four of us. Oh, you're fired. Get out. Never come out here again. You don't even get your fucking check. Get out. Sick fucking bastard, you. Traveling salesman. He's going down the road. His car breaks down. He gets out. He walks up to the farmer's house. Knocks on the door. Farmer answers the door. He says, listen, man, I'm a traveling salesman. My car's broke down. It's starting to get to be uh, dark out, and I need a place to stay for the night. Farmer looks at him and goes, well, I guess you can stay here, but uh, we don't have a lot of room. You're going to have to sleep with uh, my three sons. The guy goes, oh, excuse me, man, I'm in the wrong joke. <laughs> I don't know. That's the shit that makes me laugh. That's how stupid I am, folks. That's the kind of fucking shit. Guy calls up the fire department. Says, hey, my house is burned down. The fire department says, how do we get there? He goes, what's wrong with that fucking little red truck you've been driving around town, huh? <laughs> These are the kind of jokes. Entertain Sammy in his spare time. <laughs> when I'm not writing, oh, and, and, and Satan broke into the church and dipped his dick into the anointing. I'm not writing, writing Neil's kind of jokes. These are the jokes that actually mean. I, yeah, and I'm real proud of those years. All right, so, can't you tell? <laughs> uh, yeah, I used to be a preacher for a while. I mean, that was, that was, of course, that was before you had a satellite dish in your own network. Uh, I got too hip for the room. It was just, you know. Whew. Christians, and plus, they don't know how to fuck. You know, they're very boring fucks. You know, they're like, uh, did, you, did you know Jesus is coming soon? Did you know that? You know Bob and Sharon's moving up to Chicago. Yeah, they got a place. No sex life whatsoever. 
Oh, I like Jesus' minds if you fuck good. I'm not the other thing that bothers him at all. You know, he invented the process. And Thanks for pulling me back in the ministry, honey. Thanks. Nice little trip down Deja Vu Avenue. This is Sunday night, too. This used to be a work night for me. I used to have to have my hair cut. And where's is that gas leak again? Yes? <laughs> Walks right into the joke. Oh, oh, oh! <laughs> Uncle Joe is moving kind of slow, all right? Down at the junction. All right, I'll do that one. You guys are so great, man. That's awful sweet. You know this stuff. Wow. Thank you very much. All right, one of my men, if you don't mind. One of my men. God damn it. Thank you, mister. Telekinesis, I saw it. The audience willed the mic out of my hand. Oh, do our jokes we requested. The entertainer seems to have lost his will. <laughs> now, you know, those, you know those commercials, you know, with the little kid. It's like two years old. Well, they do, you know. They hire these fucking slick commercial companies. People do like Coca-Cola and Pepsi. And they hire all these uh, slick commercial companies to go over to these world hunger commercials. So you turn on the television. You look at this two-year-old kid in a mud hole going, <laughs> <laughs> you know, the, vo <laughs> the voiceover's always, won't you please help? How can you sit there on your well-fed, fat American ass in your central air and eat home in a country? What am I, next to a fucking gas valve here? What the Oh, oh, there's all that depth backstage, huh? This must be hiding that partition into the other auditorium. <laughs> Bob Goldthwait says hello, motherfucker. <laughs> oh, what a fucking... Uh, oh, oh, this guy, he wakes up every day and goes, I wish I was Sam Jefferson. I wish I was Sam yeah, go make another Police Academy 8. Whoa. Let's hear a piss run down Sammy's leg. <laughs> he screams louder than me, folks. He just saw his tour receipts, pal. But, uh, oh, he just stepped on a big tour. He thought he was me until he went across country. I got this fucking auditorium in Indianapolis. 3,000 people, 200 people showed up. Bob, come out of the bathroom. He's ready to swing, take his own fucking life. <laughs> oh, you might have picked up a little rivalry. Something about this fuck doing my own style, man. But he doesn't really do it. He does some weird fucking... I can't understand what he's like between a, a seizure and an orgasm or something. It's like, Bob, you know, I, a, point of view, a point of view would be nice. <laughs> All right, but... <laughs> Here we go. Who, who? Who's she talking about? Who's she talking about? That's right, you're gonna be saying that for a long time. This guy's a nobody, he's gonna be like Larry Storch from F Troop. <laughs> You'll see him in fucking Times Square drinking shoe polish in about six months, folks. Oh, I thought it was him, I thought I could fool the people, but it didn't work, it didn't work. Ah! Kinda blew the world hunger joke right into a fucking mess, didn't we, huh? No, man, the guy, they try to guilt trip your head. Won't you send some money? Won't you please help? It's sitting there, you're watching on television, you know, and you can barely pay the fucking cable vision bill. <laughs> They're asking you to give up one of the movie channels to feed this guy and his fucking 10 or 12 kids halfway across the other side of the world. And you're sitting there going, God, I know I, uh, I'd like to help. I'd like to help, but I know the fucking film crew could give this kid a sandwich. This is a power shot. That means they've got a power bus out there. If there's a power bus out there, it's a union job, so they have a fucking lunch bus out there. Oh, I know how this shit works now, folks. 
They use these kids like train seals. Cameraman's taking the shot. The director's going, they can't, they can't see me out there, can they? Here, Hodgie, here, get that cookie. Get that cookie. You get it right now. You get it. <laughs> they know what they're doing. You want to end world hunger? You want to put a stop to it? Stop sending them food. You want to send them something? Send them you all. Send them luggage. Send them big, empty fucking boxes. Send him a guy out there that goes, hey, <laughs> hey, we just drove 750 miles across the desert with your food, and it occurred to us that the, there wouldn't be world hunger if you fuckers would live where the food is! You live in a fucking desert! Do you understand that you live in a goddamn desert? Nothing grows here! Nothing's gonna grow here! You live in sand! Mahuma! Come here, Chief. Come here. Come here, come here. You see this, huh? You see this? This is sand. Yeah, it's sand. Do you know what it's going to be 100 years from now, huh? It's going to be sand! You live in a fucking desert! Get your kids. Get all your shit. We'll make one trip. We'll take you to where the food is. We have deserts in America. We just don't live in them, asshole! You guys have been great. Thank you for coming out to Rascals! I love you! Good night! <laughs> I just threw it to steal Wallace out the ground. I'm walking back, guys going, hey, where's my wall? Hey! Yeah, he's great. I'm going, hi, how are you? Okay. Make a little extra money as you go through the audience. Try to shake my hand, he went for my wall. I gun dead. Yeah, now we're supposed to laugh at him. Think he's funny. Great. Fucking thief. Is this in tune? Oh, whoa. Whoa, <laughs> somebody, somebody spent all day working on this, huh? What are you saying? You just being mean now, aren't you? I just want to see if we can make some romance in this fucking room. Okay. Can we get a shorter chair, please? God damn. What the fuck is this? <laughs> it's all right, they take it out of my check, don't worry. Going, yeah, we'll think. We'll see if it's funny when he has to pay for it. That's a little better. At least I can see over the fucking dash. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> you know, it's hard to. Uh, it's hard to play this piano in front of the crowd like this and. Not think about another great uh, entertainer that died earlier this year, and uh, you know, of course, I'm talking about Liberace, and uh, I 
I thought it was a cold. You know, I thought maybe he had pneumonia. I, uh, I thought maybe he played tennis in the rain or he just left his jogging clothes on too long. And uh, I didn't know he died from sucking big diseased dicks. <laughs> That's the only way I can think of him now, folks. You know, I wanted to remember him from his music or that he was a great entertainer, but the only way I can think of him now is just, I don't want to live it. But I guess love comes to all of us in a very special fucking way. I don't know. But, uh, I, uh, I think every guy's got that one girl, man, that just broke his fucking heart ripped it out, ate it like a fucking sandwich. I know women go, Sam, Sam, why do you always talk about what uh, what women do in a relationship? How they always fuck up. Why don't you ever talk about me and what they do wrong? Well, there's a, there's a, there's a good reason for that, ladies. See, the reason I don't talk about men is because I've never fucking dated a fucking man, all right? A man never lied to me and tried to fuck my friends. But women have! So when I uh, talk about relationships, obviously I'm gonna take a certain angle to it. And uh, I had this girl named Kate that just busted my fucking heart like an egg, man. Oh, that fucking whore. Really, it's the truth, man. We thought we were in love, you know, and I fucking got all my fucking money out of savings. And we went through it for in about a year. That's a true story. I ain't making this shit up, man. We went through it in about a year. It was all the money I was going to go out to Los Angeles on and try and make it shit. And God damn it, I fucking spent it on this girl. And, uh... Well, she came up to me when I was broke. And she said, you know, Sam, you're just not as exciting as you used to be. <laughs> she said, there's something missing from our relationship. I said, yeah, it would be the fucking cash by any chance, would it, honey? She said, oh, no, no, it's not that. Uh, she said, yeah, it's, uh, you know, you're a sweet, special guy, and I just hate to see the whole relationship end because the passion's gone. I was wondering if we could still be friends. I said, oh, yeah, I think I know what you're talking about. We still see each other once in a while, and we talk to each other once in a while, but we don't fuck. <laughs> and that's about it, honey, and that what friends means? We don't fuck anymore! She goes, yeah, yeah, that's about it. That's what it means. So we broke up, obviously, and uh, it took me like two years to get over this fucking girl, man. Oh, it was real painful. And she went on up to New York, and she was going to try to be an actress, and I just told her she's working at a restaurant somewhere, going, today's soup is cream of broccoli. I'll be right back to take your order, you know? She was like, Sam, if she hurt you so much, why don't you write a love song, you know? Why don't you do something special and write something that really shows a lot of pain? Because some people think a love song is like this, like when you break up, you want to sing something like, This time we almost made the pieces fit. Oh, we had a little fun the first show, but we were holding back, you know. It's like, oh, go home, folks. We wouldn't want you to miss your jobs or be late for work. Get out of here, you fucking first show pussies. Real people are coming in. I told him, I said, I hope when you get home, your babysitter's wiping blood off his face going, oh, oh. <laughs> I'm sorry, I got hungry. There was nothing in the fridge. I didn't mean to eat your son. Oh, uh, this is great, man. This is my first week back on tour, and this is like the Rascals thing. Is just kind of, you know, we're supposed to be here resting, relaxing in New York for two or three days, and uh, the Rascals is like uh, one of the few places, like this place in the Comedy Store in Los Angeles, like the only place I actually go into clubs anymore, just to come in and like fuck around and and do some of this. <laughs> And plus this little deal we made with the bar, you know what I'm saying? Thank you very much. And uh, kind of a Jim Jim Baker deal, you know what I mean? But uh <laughs> oh. Oh, oh, look at you! Look at you! 
Boy, these hot little babies. I'm surrounded by hot little babies. Come to me, my little babies. Come to me. Oh, here they come. Look at these fucking little bitches, folks. Do I bring you the best? Check these babes out, huh? <laughs> no, I never even crossed my mind, folks. Didn't think of it once. Not me. What do you fucking think, huh, folks? You know I did it. You know I felt it. I opened the door. Oh, yeah, yeah. I want to feel that. I mean, I'm not married. I'm not in a relationship. I'm not hurting anybody. I didn't ask them to come. They've never been to New York before. <laughs> I said, well, you picked the right guy. I'd be glad to show you. Be glad to help. Oh, man, is this fun. We're having a good time. I'm just glad to be alive. Fuck. We did some serious drink. I got off Jack Daniels because it was just I was just like kicking this shit back, man, like iced tea. And I was going, you know, I want to use this in about 15 years. Ugh. So I drank this other, uh, yeah, diet drink, fucking Bailey's Irish Cream. There's a, the boozer's friend. Chocolate milk for fat adults. Yeah, see, lose a liver or have a sugar fucking coma. Yeah, right. But, oh, it's good stuff. I got all my fucking friends drinking it because, you know, I knew the tour was coming up. And you got to slow down, man. These guys will fucking kill you. These fucking, oh, you're the beast. You're a MS party. Oh, I got coke. I got, got coke. Here's, here's my line. Here's yours. Come on, man. Come on. It looks like a gopher went through here. Come on. Tear it up. Tear it up, man. <laughs> you think it's a live show, huh? You think it'll slow down over the next hour or so? The guys I love are the guys that actually go on a date without drugs, man. They go, oh, oh, fuck, god damn it. I didn't bring any blow. I'm gonna have to depend on my own fucking personality. Shit! I fucking hate that, god damn it. Now I have to find out if she really likes me or not. Oh, God, it's the worst. People go, do you do drugs, Sam? What the fuck do you think? You're the jury, huh? Well, you shouldn't. Yeah, I shouldn't have got married either, and I shouldn't see life for what it really is. Get off my fucking back! Rad, you see this rad commercials? Rock against drugs. These jaded, fucking burned out musicians, band members. You know, we've done just about everything you can actually do with coke, so we're a little bored with it. I remember when my best friend was flying through the fucking windshield of my car after I slammed into a school bus. My lawyer said, if you do these commercials, you can get a suspended sentence. So listen, kids, you know, little rockers, don't do drugs. Like, oh, you sick fucking freaks. Uh, rock against drugs. It's like Christians against Christ. It makes a lot of sense, huh? Rock against drugs, yeah. We love Christianity, but we hate Jesus. Now get in line. Get over there in the rock against drugs line. Oh, Christianity's taking on a whole new uh, press, huh? Jim and Tammy Baker. God damn it. Didn't this guy fuck up big time, man. I saw his wife. I heard the accusations, wine swamping, homosexuality. I got a good look at this fucking bitch on Newsweek, the cover of Newsweek. And I said, yeah, I understand it. <laughs> I'd swap her for a fucking porcupine, man. I'd swap her for a can of soup. How about Tammy for half a sandwich? Maybe I go with that? Right. Okay. Uh, no kidding, the guy was a fag. I'd suck dick too if I was married here, man. <laughs> Say, honey, I know we're married, but I'd rather suck a dick than kiss your face. You know, I hope, you, I hope you're not hurt. Don't, don't, take, don't mean nothing by it. <laughs> this fucking slimy guy, man. I'm like, you know, the whole time he's been on BTL Club, he's going, you know, I, I really love the Lord, but I, I wonder what a dick would taste like right now. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, no, it would make the Lord exactly uh, jump up and down, but, uh, 
legs are you can sure, sure, sure go for one just about now. You know, what a school. You'll be weighing about 45 pounds in two weeks, folks. Jim will have a whole nother crisis on his hands. Yeah, the Lord told us to lose weight at a rapid pace for no reason. Hallelujah. Oh, man. Oh, these fucking guys. Just trying to help everybody. We want to start with us. We need $10 million. It's emergency month. It's like, yeah, it's emergency month at my house, too. What's the, how about 700 700 to my house. It's emergency month. These fucking guys, he doesn't know when to quit. He doesn't know what he's lost. They think they're going back. You know, I knew these folks spent a lot of time on their knees. I didn't know it was with the band. <laughs> no conscience, motherfuckers, man. Hey, Lord, don't mind. I, think, gee, I never thought Jesus was going to actually come back, but I think he might for this. <laughs> Just to stick his... Or Roberts, is this guy slimy? Have you seen him? Because, I mean, these guys, are, they're, they're dominating the fucking news, man. You see, but Or Roberts, what a slimy guy. He's got something to hide. <laughs> and I know, uh, no one's, don't, don't change channels. Don't change channels. Don't change channels. Because I know, uh, look, Lord told me to tell you something. He said, uh, he said that uh, if, I, if I don't come up with 8 million, he's, he's going to take my life. You believe me, don't you? You believe me, yeah, don't. Don't turn that channel. I know you believe me. I know you believe the gospel. Please me. So I was like, ooh, man, what'd you do before the fucking ministry? Run a circus? The carnival? <laughs> yeah, I used, I used to, uh, I used to wash down the midgets. They didn't like it at first, but they got used to it. That's my job, and uh, I used to scrub them down, give them a good bath. Ah, <laughs> oh, he's pretty slimy, folks. Yeah, now God's a fucking terrorist. What's this guy trying to say? You know. Like, we're almost praying one day, God went, Hey, you fuck! Stay on your knees, you son! Oh, fuck your prayers! Oh, I piss on... I want eight million bucks, you're a dead man! You understand that? You got a money! Oh, where are you gonna hide? Where are you gonna hide? It's like, <laughs> great, Goral. I'm glad, you and, I'm glad you and the Lord are on such tight fucking terms, huh? He thinks a lot about you. Jimmy Swagger, the fucking Hitler of gospel television. <laughs> you know, friends, there's only one way. The fear, I mean, the Lord, the Lord spoke to me. I was reading the scriptures and said that for I, I mean, uh, 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 for, for God so loved the world that he gave us only, uh, that we all might live in the fatherland. I, I mean, uh, uh, amen. <laughs> See, this guy's still wearing brown shirts in the song book, folks. You know, you heard it before, you know? These fucking guys, man. Jesus wasn't like that. I read the Bible. This guy had his own shit, folks. He had his own fucking problems. First of all, he's the son of God. That's a lot to work, walk around with when you're five years old. <laughs> trying to mingle, trying to hang out. And Joseph following him around going, yeah, yeah, you better be the son of God. I'll tell you that. <laughs> I'm buying an awful lot of shit here, Junior. <laughs> you sure it was God, right, honey? You're sure it was God. He looks like a normal fucking kid to me. He's five years old. How come he hasn't done something, huh? We go to work every day. People go, hell's the son of God, Joseph. Ah! <laughs> if I was a woman back then that got pregnant out of marriage, I'd have said, it happened to me too. God came by here. He sure did. Did the same thing to me. Uh, six or seven sons of God's running around back then. <laughs> but Jesus could actually heal, but it didn't work out for, very well for him. You know, these people took advantage of him. You know, you can't do something like that and people not go, hey, yeah, yeah, I think I know how we worked that in, yeah. You know, 5,000 people would show up with no fucking food. It's kind of rude, isn't it, huh? They call that manipulating the gift. You know, they didn't need a healing. They weren't sick. They weren't blind. They didn't pack a fucking sandwich for the day. <laughs> Jesus is out there. He's getting ready to heal. He's getting ready to preach. What? What, 5,000? I mean, I want to be brought a sandwich. No, let me get it. <laughs> How many of you want coleslaw, huh? I'm sorry, you lame, you, you that are blind and deaf. I'll be right with you. I've got to be Jesus, the miracle caterer. Big little dinner plates for 5,000. 
There's always one dick in the crowd that'll come up and go, you know, you know Lord, I, I don't want to be a lot of problems, but uh, I can't eat fish. I just, I'm sorry, man, I'm not from around here. It's, it's raw fish thing, man, I can't cut it. Uh, I think you get down to maybe like a grilled cheese or something. Nothing heavy, nothing fancy. Just, just oh, tough life, tough life. Oh, they're just manipulating this guy to a fucking match. Man. The movies, you ever seen the movies about Jesus? He's on the cross. <laughs> you know, there's always 30, 40 Christians standing around going, <laughs> it's a shame that he has to die. <laughs> Jesus is always going, Maybe we can have a different book. Uh, the disciples had a tough job. Man, they had to fucking work with this guy. They could never take a day off. They could never call in sick. He's Jesus. This guy's going, no, no, I know him. I'll talk to him. <coughs> <coughs> Hello, Jesus. Yeah, listen, there's one of the disciples. Listen, we went out there, and we were fishing last night. We forgot our sweaters. And, uh... <coughs> yeah, we've all got the cold, and uh, we're not going to be able to walk to Jerusalem and let people throw rocks at us today with you, and uh, <coughs> what? Well, we're healed. What do you mean we're healed? Don't you mean, don't you have to be here? And they have, you don't have to be here? You can send the word and we're healed? No, I didn't know that. Yeah. That's great. Okay, we'll be in about 10 minutes. All right, we'll see you. Thanks. Come on, guys. Get up. We're healed. Oh. Oh, that's a lot of shit, folks. A lot of shit going on in the fucking room. This is gospel. It's great to see these guys just falling down. I hope I hope he goes to jail, man. I want to see Baker go to jail for misappropriation of funds and bad date choices. You know? God damn, this fucking little punk. You know? I want to see him be some guy's bitch in a cell somewhere. I want him to have to clean the place up, have the guy's clothes folded when he comes home from the hard day of making license plates, you know. Hey, Jim, where's my fucking chest? I have it for you in a second. I'm almost through over here. Doesn't sound like he's going to have a hard time adjusting to prison life, folks. Well, I've never done this before, but since I'm here. Sick little fuck. Oh, oh. Oh, the IRS is going to give this guy a fucking haircut. Everybody wants a piece of this guy. It's going to be fun. This is great. It's like the best thing I've ever seen happen in the church. And uh, really, man, jump that fucking shit out on the street. Burn these fuckers. Rip away their non-profit tax bullshit. Yeah, that's right. Make them drink, get drunk, and party like the rest of us. God damn it. Pious fuckers. <laughs> we need you to help us. I thought that was their fucking job, you know? I thought we were supposed to be depressed, sad. We need some for our lives. We turn on televisions like Friend. You can call the number on the bottom of your screen right now. Someone will talk to you. Someone will, you know. You don't get that from these guys anymore. It's like, oh, good. Thank God you turned in. We need 10 million bucks. It's emergency month, you fucker. Come on, what do you do? Hey, God, do you piss on the church? Do you wipe your ass with the Bible? Get some money to us. You fucking dicks. Where is this fucking attitude from, man? Bible does it say, yay, for the Lord would have you go out and, and make a loan and build a water slide so that we could baptize people at a rapid rate. <laughs> <laughs> it's a 1987 baptism. <laughs> Jesus' water slide and the holy roller coaster. Come on down. Come on down to Heritage Club USA, yo. They're gonna make this like a Six Flags over North Carolina or something. It's gone. It's on the fucking market right now. Right, if we put our bucks together, we could buy it. probably buy it, folks. I'm serious. We could probably buy it. Right, we have the bucks. Uh, Great. Okay. Bunch of investors here. No, don't want cursed land. Spirit is gone from there. <laughs> uh, well, I'm all excited. I got my uh, my blood test back. I don't have AIDS. I'm very fucking excited now. So. Uh, the church is the new cruising ground, guys. It's not the discos anymore. It's not the uh, the fitness centers. It's the fucking church. That's where guys are going to get laid now. It's like, you <laughs> know, I want to meet a girl that, you know, this rubber thing. What is this condoms fucking comeback, huh? I mean, how sloppy are you? 
I mean, why don't you just, honey, I don't want to say anything about your personal habits. You don't mind if I put a complete sock and a floor shine on? <laughs> Tie it up here. <laughs>